Hello, my name is Pat Armitstead and my presentation at this conference is called How to Bring Joy When It Appears There Is None. A little bit of background first, I had um, 16 years in my working career devoted as a, uh, a registered nurse, 10 years in nurse education and another six running uh, a 79 bed rest home. And then as nurses do sometimes, when I left nursing, uh, went and did something uh, pretty unusual <laughs> and started my own small advertising agency, uh, which I worked in for 11 years. At the turn of the century, 2001, I declared myself to be the world's first joyologist and my mission since then has been exactly as my title explains, to support people to find joy. The, um, we all move through grief and loss. Uh, we all experience challenges. We all face adversity. And uh, a lot of my learnings uh, along all three roles, actually, has um, been very instrumental in um, developing a range of skill sets that support people in this place. I'd like to share with you first, though, a story about the very first man that I ever bedbathed. The man's name was Bob Hall and I was 17, my first day on the ward and he was my first real live bedbath. Bob had been in a, a workplace accident, a construction crane had actually fallen on him. Uh, when he arrived in casualty he had 35 broken bones and he'd literally been flattened. So the uh, resuscitation team stood around the bedside, never dreaming that Bob really could survive. Four hours later, he was still alive, and they contemplated taking him to theatre, but were concerned that he actually might die on the table. So Bob went to theatre, didn't die on the table, and as they trolled him back to recovery, the comments were going, well, you know, poor beggar, he'll probably, he'll probably just be a vegetable. Well, Bob woke up in recovery and revealed indeed he was not a vegetable. And it was there that the conversation changed again. And they said, well, he'll never walk again. Bob Hall was in hospital the whole three years of my general nurse training. I actually saw Bob Hall every day that I was on duty, whether I was rostered on his floor or not. And <laughs> here's, the, here's the gem. Bob walked on two sticks to my graduation ceremony and stood up the back of the room. And at the end of the ceremony proper, he stood up and waved one of those sticks and he said, I've actually got something to say. And I have to tell you, I got a little bit scared then. And he came down the front. And I was scared because my mother's sitting in the front row. And he opened this big scroll, it was about three feet long, and he started to read from this scroll, and he read all the tricks and pranks and the dreadful things that I did to him over that three-year period. Every now and again, my mother would go, oh, Patricia, you didn't. <laughs> and when he'd finished reading this list, he turned to me and he said, you don't know what you did. And while I appreciated what he was saying then, I never really got that until 2001. I experienced a, a whole series of losses myself and uh, was in a very depressed and unresourced place. And in that moment, I, I really started to see um, how my natural impish self, my innate capacity for humour and to be good humoured, and I'm going to talk a little about that on the day, had enabled not just Bob but many, many other people along that path to move through very difficult times. So my journey since 2001 has been, just as the name suggests, how to bring joy when it appears there is none. And I've developed a range of programs and you'll be able to look at some of those on my website. We are a culture that has become addicted to security, comfort and being all that you can be. Along that path we have become grief illiterate. 
you know, created somehow the idea that grief is containable. Across the globe, the energy of the world is flatlining. In this presentation, I'm going to be sharing some of my philosophies and some tools to support you to find joy where it appears there's none and to enable that expression of grief. I look forward to meeting you.